Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, I finally found those things I wanted to to uh, fix my shoes with, and now I can t I can show you guys. Ah. I've had these shoes. They are Keens. They're 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 pretty good shoes. I got these about five or six years ago, okay? Currently, these are the only pair of shoes I have. Now, the problem is, this is coming off, okay? So, what I am gonna do is take my nifty little E6000 and Put some, just squeeze it in there. Can you see? I'm squeezing it down in there. And then my toe. Uh, my toe is pretty good on this one. And I'm going to put a little juice down in there just to make sure. So. That shoe is done, and I'll put a weight on it so it'll hold together. And uh, I think I usually let this sit for like 24 hours. This shoe, the toe has come off. <laughs> so we are going to glob this on. God, that stuff stinks. And then I'm going to push it down in there to the sole. I'm going to have to stuff that with something so it'll stay up and uh, grab onto that. And there's a little piece back here that I'm going to repair. Come on. Well, hey, dummy. Put it this way. Huh. Easier. Squeeze that in there. And oh, like I said, I gotta weight these down. And then I got to let them sit for about 24 hours to make sure that the uh, the glue holds. Well, I've done it on this shoe before. A couple years ago, this this sole was falling off. And I uh, E6000'd it. And it stayed all this time. So I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy about that. So I'm going to stuff my toe up so, so that will lean against that yeah that's what I want and uh, well, I was hoping I had a clip but I don't think I do but anyway this little section right down here it's coming off a little bit. So I'm going to just put a little dab on that thing and put it right down. Yeah. So anyway, there wasn't any reason in the world for me to go. I thought about it. I thought about it. I thought there isn't any reason in the world why I need to go out and buy a new pair of shoes. None. These are perfectly fine. They're so they're old. I'm old. Huh. No big deal. Um they work fine. 
I can even wear these babies in the, the winter time with a, a good pair of socks, you know. And, um, of course, I am going to fix this thing right here. Can you see? <laughs> well, the little pulley thing broke, so I had to keep the string on with the paper clip, but I'll get that fixed. Um, so, crap, these shoes five years ago cost me $80, okay? You better bet I'm going to get the use out of them. <laughs> um, just reminds me of when I was a kid, uh, you know, we all had penny loafers, right? Well, my penny loafers would fall apart because, well, they were the only shoes I had, so I had to wear them out in the snow and everything, you know? No big deal. We didn't wear sneakers back then except for, for gym, you know. So I'd get one pair of shoes and uh, so throughout the year I knew that I was going to have to get some needle and thread and sew the, the top of it together, you know, where the penny is. Uh, you know, it ha had the... Uh, so... And a lot of times I saw <laughs> me and carpet thread were very good friends because uh, I sewed the uh, sole. The soles had the holes in them and the top had the holes in it. So why not? I just sewed it up myself. So um, uh, that's I keep doing that. I keep doing that. That's one of one of my stories from Nana Kay is about a doll I had. I had this doll, it was Thumbelina. Oh my God. I think it was the only doll I ever really had. Other than that, I had guns and, you know, guy stuff. Um, but I had the one doll that I loved, and I had a cradle for her and everything. And and uh, before my uh, cousins would come over, Mom and Dad would say, okay, put away your toys, you know. Um, so... Uh, one time I didn't. And Thumbelina was a doll that you pull the string and it looked like a baby and it'd move, you know. I love that doll. I love that doll. Anyway, um, didn't put the, the stuff away. And, um, my cousins come in and the one... One person um, just yanked the string and broke it. The string came right out of it. So my Thumbelina didn't go like this anymore. And I was going to throw it away. And my mom says, no, you're not going to throw that away. Uh, do you think if you broke your arm, I would throw you away? And I said, no. And she says, well, then, you know, just because there's something a little wrong with the doll doesn't mean you have to throw it away. And I always took that to heart, you know. Um, in fact, I was making some dolls uh, that I called the I'm Not Perfect doll. And, and they had, um, you know, two legs and one arm or one eye or, you know, something was wrong with it. But you, you can still love it. So that's kind of how I, I treat my things. If I wear it and use it till I can't use it anymore, and then chances are I am going to do something else with it. So instead of, you know, and I know it's a big thing, yo, let's save the landfills, blah, 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 blah. But I actually, I actually walk the walk. So. <laughs> Not like someone else we know. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Anywho. Um, anyway, good pair of shoes. If you ever get a chance to get a pair of Keens, do it. It's wonderful for your feet. Um, yeah. So, these babies will be almost brand new tomorrow. I can't hardly wait. Yay! So... That's it for today, guys. Um, yeah, I'm not above putting... 
I have put duct tape around my my sneakers before when <laughs> me and Tom didn't have any money or you know which was most of the time and I w I would have these holes that my my toes were sticking out of my sneakers they were the cheap ones you know like you get for a couple bucks at Walmart I put uh, I put <laughs> duct tape around them. <laughs> so, one day my kid, I'll tell you one quick story. One day my kids uh, had holes in their sneaker and there's no way we could afford to buy sneakers. So, what I did was I sewed it up the best I could and then I got some markers. And I said, here, paint your shoes, paint your sneakers however you want to paint them and you can wear them to school if you want. Well, they were just thrilled and all the kids at school says, wow, where did you get those sneakers? Oh, I, I did it myself. Well, big hit. You know, this is something, you know, that they could have thrown away or, or pitched a bitch about wearing something with a hole in it. But my kids were really good, and they they made it work. They made it work, and I'm so proud of all of them. Uh, yeah, so just because it has a hole in it or the heel comes off doesn't mean you have to throw it away, you know? Uh, so, anyway, that's my spiel for today. So, take it easy. Take the long way home.